So what in the world happened to Baker Mayfield? How did he go from this? And now he'll uncork it for the end zone. Ball in the air and it's caught. To being stuck on the bench. Let's look into why Baker has found himself in this situation in the first place and if there's a way back to redemption for him. Make sure to like the video for the YouTube algorithm and also only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. So Baker Mayfield went from leading the Cleveland Browns to the playoffs to a playoff victory to being benched on a team with a losing record in the Carolina Panthers and then eventually ending up in Los Angeles to play for the Rams. But how did he get here in the first place? Well, it all starts back to Austin, Texas, where Baker Mayfield was born on April 14th, 1995. Baker grew up having to move from home to home as his parents kind of struggled with money early on in life. And despite being in Texas, Baker actually grew up being an Oklahoma Sooners fan. He even went to a few of their games growing up, so naturally in high school, he played football and he'd end up as a starting quarterback, of course, but he played for the Lake Travis High School football team in Austin, Texas. He led them to a 25-2 record as a starter in his two seasons, including a 2011 state championship run. He finished his high school career with 6,255 yards passing with 67 touchdowns and only eight interceptions. He would end up as a three-star recruit, but he he was only lightly recruited actually, getting scholarships from schools like Florida Atlantic University, New Mexico, North Texas, and a few others, but he was offered walk-on offers from Baylor, Texas Tech, and Washington State. And the whole reason for this, the biggest knock on Mayfield coming out of high school was his height at just 5 foot 10 inches, which some of you might not think is really that short, but again, at the premium level of college football, they like their quarterbacks tall, fast, athletic, so he really didn't get that many offers, but again, he did get those walk-on offers. So Baker actually did that. He decided to take his chances at Texas Tech as a walk-on, and he was actually named the starting quarterback before the start of the 2013 season. This was because there was an injury to the projected starter, so Mayfield would become the first true freshman walk-on to start an FBS season opener at quarterback. So how would he do? Mayfield. Yeah, he started on fire, passing for 413 yards and 4 touchdowns. During the course of this year, Mayfield would pass for 2,315 yards and 12 touchdowns to 9 interceptions. So yeah, 12 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, not exactly great, but a knee injury and some performance issues actually led to him losing the starting job on top of that. And as you would imagine, he announced after that season he would leave due to quote unquote miscommunication with the coaching staff. Yeah, so I mean, you know, that's probably true or maybe not, who knows. Again, he lost his starting job, of course he wants to play somewhere else. He did show flash and because of that other colleges were talking to him he was talking to them and he would end up transferring to Oklahoma yes his favorite team growing up he transferred to them so he was excited you know his childhood team he's gonna play for them how's he gonna do well due to conference rules he had to sit out the 2014 season so he did have to wait but going into the 2015 season Mayfield would be named the official starter and he would go on to pass for 3,700 yards 36 touchdowns to just seven interceptions with this good season, he would actually lead the Sooners to the 2015 Orange Bowl and a playoff berth. They did, however, end up losing to Clemson 37-17, so yeah, that wasn't really a good game, but Mayfield did turn into a star, and he even finished fourth in the Heisman vote this year. So naturally, going into the 2016 season, the following year, the hype was extremely high, and he would end up leading the Sooners to an 11-2 record this time, finishing the season ranked fifth. He would end up passing for 3,965 years yards and 40 touchdowns so again really good numbers really good record you know great season again overall and going into the 2017 season as a senior he would play even better He would lead the Sooners to a 12-2 record in another playoff berth, however losing in overtime 54-48 to Georgia in a crazy game. It was really, really good, really fun game, but again, they would come up short in the playoffs. 
But on the bright side, he would take home the Heisman Trophy this time after passing for 4,627 yards and 43 touchdowns to just six interceptions. Baker Mayfield was very popular. He was very outspoken. He was definitely a polarizing player. You know, the moment where he stamps the Oklahoma flag in the middle of Ohio State comes to mind. You know, that was a crazy statement game and something, you know, you really don't see in college football. But again, he left his mark at Oklahoma and was a superstar in college. Heisman Trophy winning senior season for a big time school. You know, things looked great for him, but leading up to the draft, it was debated if his height would hold him back or not. So again, he did have to deal with that just like he did when he was coming out of high school. However, and it was a shock to some fans, the first overall pick of the 2018 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns would select Baker Mayfield. Now, he wouldn't play in his first game until week three, which is pretty funny, actually, because if you watch Hard Knocks in the preseason, the head coach actually congratulated Baker Mayfield on winning the second string position for the team. Yeah, we're talking about the number one overall pick, the future of your franchise. They actually congratulated him for being the second string to then starter Tyra Taylor. But again, as I said, in week three, he did come into the game because Tyrod Taylor went out injured and he would end up playing with them the rest of the season. Baker Mayfield finished leading the Browns to a 7-8-1 record, pretty good, while passing for 3,725 yards, 27 touchdowns, and 14 interceptions. Obviously not perfect, but Baker really played well for the most part and he did look very promising. Again, as a rookie to pass for 3,700 yards and 27 touchdowns, I mean, it's pretty good. Now, going into the 2019 season, he would would end up starting all 16 games and he ended up passing for 3,827 yards but he only completed 59% of his passes and the worst part he had 22 touchdowns which was five less than the previous season but he had 21 interceptions yeah so 22 touchdowns 21 interceptions not very good so regression for sure and of course you have to remember they did have the number one overall pick when they got baker and they had seven wins the previous year this season they finished six and ten so again you know there wasn't a whole lot of talent on the team so lots of issues but you couldn't really put all of the blame on Baker. But going into the 2020 season, the Cleveland Browns hired new coach Kevin Stefanski, who came from the Vikings, and the Browns would end up going 11-5, making the playoffs while Baker passed for 3,563 yards, 26 touchdowns, and just eight interceptions this time. So he definitely looked much better and had a fantastic run game and defense that helped the Browns win their first playoff game since the 1994 season. Baker Mayfield actually had four touchdowns in that game and they ended up having a huge start to that game. Looked like they were going to run away from it, but the Steelers did come back a little bit, but the Browns hung on and won in the end. However, the next week the Browns lost an embarrassing game to Kansas City 22-17. to Now you might say, hey, what? Why is it embarrassing? It was a five point game. The reason it was embarrassing was because their high scoring, high flying, flashy offense was slowed down and couldn't win despite Patrick Mahomes getting knocked out of the game. Again, Kansas City just really showed up in that game and they, they came together after Mahomes got injured. It really looked for a second there that the Browns were going to win again, but nope. That's where their season ended, but they had a lot to build on for the future, and things looked up. I mean, they won their first playoff game since 1994. So Baker Mayfield, again, 26 touchdowns to just 8 interceptions, 11 wins. Won their first playoff game. Things were looking bright, right? Well, enter the 2021 NFL season where Mayfield had a lot of controversy. He, again, had interception problems, injuries, lots of inaccurate passes, and, of course, the whole Odell Beckham Jr. drama. And if you haven't seen that video already, I did a video on Odell Beckham Jr. as well. OBJ's dad basically made fun of and called out Baker missing OBJ on wide open plays, and to his point, there were a lot of plays where there's a lot of miscommunication. This, as you would expect, led to a lot of negative backlash, and Baker dealt with injuries for most of the year on top of that. So Baker Mayfield would only pass for 3,010 yards, 17 touchdowns, and 13 interceptions as the Browns, after winning their first playoff game in almost 20 years finished with a disappointing 8-9 record missing the playoffs. But Baker had success just one season before so they would try to improve the roster and go for it again in 2022 right? Why do a big mix up, change anything too drastically right? Let's bring back Baker, let's get him healthy, let's see what happens 
or... Deshaun Watson officially traded from the Houston Texans to the Cleveland Browns and also receiving a five-year, $230 million contract fully guaranteed. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, well, yeah, that was awkward. So, yeah, the Browns traded for Houston Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson before before getting rid of Baker Mayfield. Yes, you heard that right. Before they actually moved on from Baker Mayfield, they traded for Deshaun Watson. I mean, talk about super awkward, right? Mayfield was still with the team technically, but they traded all of these draft picks and everything. Mayfield was the first overall pick just a couple seasons ago. I mean, how could this possibly happen? They had to get rid of him, right? I mean, yes, they did, but it took them forever to trade him. But they did eventually find a trade partner as Baker Mayfield was traded to the Carolina Panthers for a fourth or fifth round pick, depending if Mayfield played 70% of his snaps on the year or not. So he went from the first overall pick, leading the Browns to a a playoff win in almost 20 years all of the hype all of the personality all of the commercials to being traded for at best what would have been a fourth round pick and again they traded for deshaun watson despite all the controversy all the allegations and all that stuff i won't talk about it in this video but you all know the issues with deshaun watson so it was a horrible end for baker mayfield but a fresh new start in carolina maybe could he prove the browns wrong make a comeback turn carolina into a great team well as of this video the season has officially ended and he finished the season not with the Panthers but with the LA Rams. Now Mayfield's stats between the two teams for the season he played in 12 games started 10 he would have a 2-8 and eight record as the starter and ended up passing for 2,163 yards 10 touchdowns to 8 interceptions while completing 60% of his passes. Yeah, not exactly great numbers, and again, remember the Los Angeles Rams had a bad season on top of the Carolina Panthers' bad season, and the Rams were just decimated by injuries, and the reason he even started for them was because Matthew Stafford was out. And his most insane moment that showed flashes yet again was just a few days after signing with the Rams, he would do this. Yeah, that was crazy. Baker Mayfield was waived by the Carolina Panthers on a Monday, got claimed by the Los Angeles Rams on Tuesday. After a cross-country flight, he got one short practice with his new team on a Wednesday. And on Thursday night, Mayfield led the Rams to two late fourth quarter touchdowns and a stunning 17-16 victory over the Las Vegas Raiders. And again, he threw this 23-yard touchdown pass to Van Jefferson with just 10 seconds left in the game. Now, it was so impressive because again, he only had one one short practice less than a couple of days and keep in mind it doesn't matter if it was a bad team or not in the Raiders it was on Thursday night prime time in front of all of America to watch and he did that so yeah that was really fun to watch and it created a lot of excitement buzz it was really fun all the NFL news and circles for a few days but he still didn't have a great year overall obviously I mean could he still turn it around and play well going forward in the future it's definitely possible over the course of his NFL career so far Mayfield has shown a lot of talent a lot of promise but people kind of make fun of him now as we see him more on his tv commercials than we do on the playing field i personally think he is a starter he's on a starter level in the nfl and it might be in the bottom half of the league i'm not really sure but i don't think there's 32 quarterbacks better than baker mayfield currently he just had such a random turnaround to his career i mean things were going really really well and i can't blame the browns on going with deshaun watson speaking on talent alone here not the whole controversy but you put them together head to head skill wise quarterback wise of course Deshaun Watson's the better quarterback I still think we will see some great years out of Baker but it's honestly on him he definitely had a very unfortunate series of events happen to him and his fall from grace as the number one overall quarterback was really fast I mean what do all of you think will Baker make a comeback will he lead another team to the playoffs or is he better as a backup player I have heard a lot of arguments and points about in Cleveland he had the insanely good running game very very good defense and I understand all that points but he still had a lot of great plays as well as of this video baker mayfield has signed a one-year deal with the tampa bay buccaneers worth up to 8.5 million dollars after losing tom brady to retirement Mayfield really does have a chance to compete for the starting role here and they do have a new coach but they still have Mike Evans and Chris Godwin so Mayfield has weapons to work with. 
Honestly, who knows what's going to happen, but he's set up for a great chance to get his career back on track. But let me know what you think. Is Tampa Bay a good fit for him? Is he going to work well with the weapons there? And is he going to get his career back? Or do you think Baker Mayfield is a bust and his career is over? But let me know. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like as it helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and leave suggestions for more videos in the comments. We're going into the off season now, so I'm definitely open to who you want me to cover next, what story you want me to talk about and anything else you guys want to see but again thank you so much and as always i'll see you in the next one